stand for something. We gain weakness, we gain weakness when, we fight against something. when we fight against something. Stand for what you want. Stand for not against what you don't want. In the words of Gandhi, first they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they fight against you, then they lose. How's everybody doing here? Hot. Mike Chuck. The United States, United States right, now, right now has the world's largest prison population. Right now, the United States is slipped spending around 60% of the federal budget on militarization. Right now, in the United States, just 400 people have as much wealth as the bottom half of the United States. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Every day. I have a 401k. 
I may not be the 1%, but I'm 3%. And I'm ashamed to say that. They say that I am not here because this is just people who want to take from those who have. I have. You should have. The reason you don't have is timing. I was fortunate. I was born at the right time. I grew up before this country was four hundred and twenty thousand dollars per household in debt. The debt, which you guys are all in, is how the one percent enslaves you. I'm here because I I know that it's unsustainable. We cannot continue to live on debt. The reason that we're here is because product, worker productivity has been up 40, for the past 40 years, has been rising, but wages have not. Corporate profits, however, are at an all-time high in our country's history. There is no reason at all for us to not be angry about that. People at the top are not bearing the same burden that people at the bottom are. And they continue and continue to complain about class warfare. But it's only class warfare when we bring it against them. I'm a mother of five. I love my kids to death. But it worries me about how I'm going to provide for these kids over the years. My husband died of cancer almost three years ago. He left me no help, no um, insurance. I'm at the mercy of Social Security to raise my kids. It doesn't even make enough to pay the bills, the mortgage, or the food. So I want to know why Bank of New York won't work with me. This is, if it's not a hardship to lose your husband, lose your food, on top of that, you have an autistic son that can't receive services, what is this world coming to? I am an angry protester, but in a righteous way. I want to see that all people have health care, that have dental care, that we can come together as one and support each other in a peaceful way. I am tired of the games that banks play. The banks are holding on to so many bad underwater mortgages on our houses and they won't release them because of supply and demand. They're greedy sons of bitches, excuse my language. I am tired of the rates going up over and over again. I cannot find a home for my kids, so I will be living in a tent before long. I'm very angry with my government with the feds, with everybody, and I don't know if I want to live in this country anymore if they can't give us what we need. Well, today, I'm here to see a lot of people out here who have a lot of freedom in them, and freedom can't be taken away. If someone told you you couldn't do something, there's no reason why you can't. It's illegal, but what's that mean? That just means you're going to go to jail, right? It's only fear that holds you back from your freedom. I want to see everybody do whatever the hell they want. Because it's important to you and no one else. And that's the person you should be caring about no matter what is yourself. You have a voice inside you all want to hear that voice scream out loud. I am sick of people asking me what we're here for. I am sick of people asking me what our morals are. Because we live in a Google generation. Google it. Come on. <laughs> like, do your own research. Also, I have to ask you guys what you think the next coming up election is going to be like. I say that both candidates are either going to use Occupy the group to work for them and get our votes, or they're going to use it against their votes. And I want to say that if change doesn't happen in 2012, I'm going to be putting the 99% as my writing candidate. The 99% for the president of 2012. Oil companies made $500 billion in what's it called, Renegade this year, and they put 0% in 
uh, government taxes. The thing is, they're charging taxes from the people who make $14,000 a year, $10,000 a year, and they're screwing us over. I want, when I grow up, I want to be able to, what's it called, take social security. I want to have health care. I want my children to go to public school that's not 32 and 32nd place in math and science. I want our country to stop messing around, intervening in business that's not ours. Iraq and Afghanistan is not our business. Giving what's it called aid to Haiti and all these other countries is not our business. Our business is giving money to the public libraries so they can stay open longer, giving money to our public schools so they can have more teachers, better classrooms, more technology, more funds. How come our great government, the greatest country in the world, is 32nd place in math and science? To all you young people out there, I was your age during the civil rights movement. I was your age during the women's rights movement. I was your age during the environmental rights movement. And I was your age during the Vietnam War. And there's one thing I learned. None of those movements started and none of those movements succeeded because politicians called for action. All of those movements started and all of those movements succeeded because it's what the people demanded. Eventually some politicians got in front of the movements to take credit, but it happened because of the people. People can make things happen. If you look back, the last time we had a major populist movement in this country was in the 1930s. It didn't happen quickly, and this won't happen quickly. It's not going to be one month. It's probably not going to be one year. It took three or four years in the 1930s to get us out of the Depression with the New Deal. But it changed the way this country looked at its fellow people. And we can make this happen if we hang in there if we keep the vision in front of us, and if we all do our part, we can change whatever we want to change in this country.